Next, we have oxygen delivery devices. <clears throat> a non rebreather mask has one or more of I'm sorry, one or more one-way discs covering the side parts of the mask that allow exhaled air to escape from the mask but prevent room air from being breathed in. The mask is connected to a soft plastic bag that functions as a reservoir for oxygen. The reservoir bag has a one-way valve that prevents exhaled air from entering it. The bag is filled with oxygen before placing the mask on the patient and must never be less than two-thirds full while in use. This can be a difficult task, especially patients who have um, an immense work of breathing. They may end up sucking the entire bag, you know, at even at 15 liters. This may be a sign that you may need to utilize a bag valve mask. Um, adjust the oxygen flow rate so that the bag does not completely deflate with when the patient inhales, usually 15 liters per minute. At 15 liters per minute, oxygen concentration delivered is about 60 to 95 percent. In most situations, a non-breather mask is, preferred, is the preferred method of oxygen delivery in the field for a patient who is breathing adequately, but it allows the delivery of high concentration oxygen. When using a non-breather mask, the mask must fit snugly on the patient's face to prevent room air from mixing with oxygen from the reservoir bag. Make sure the mask makes a good seal by forming the metal nose piece to the patient's nose. Adjust the mask's elastic strap to secure the patient's or secure the mask to the patient's face, but not press so tightly to, as to leave impressions on the skin. Um, partial rebreather masks. This is not really common in um, in this area. We kind of we pretty much exclusively use non-rebreather masks. But the partial rebreather mask has an attached reservoir bag that is filled with oxygen for patient use. One-way discs are present on the side ports of the partial rebreather mask to prevent entry of of room air. Oxygen rate of 6 to 10 liters per minute is needed to deliver an oxygen concentration of about 35 to 60 percent and prevent excessive carbon dioxide buildup from the patient's exhaled oxygen. Um, venturi masks, this again, uh, not very common. Usually with venturi masks, it's usually used for trach patients in this area. A venturi ma oxygen mask, also called an air entertainment mask or a venti mask, is applied over the patient's nose and mouth. The mask is supplied with removable color-coded adapters of different sizes that are positioned between the base of the oxygen mask and the oxygen source. The adapters are used in, um, to change the size of the opening in the mask, adjustable, adjusting the mixture of room air, oxygen, and 100% oxygen entering the mask. Commonly available masks deliver 24, 28, 35, 40, and 50% oxygen. Recommended oxygen liter flow rates may vary by the manufacturer, ranging from 3 liters to 15 liters. Next we have the back to the nasal cannula. Sorry about that. Nasal cannula is a piece of plastic tubing with soft prongs that stick out from the tubing. The prongs are inserted into the patient's nostrils and the tubing is secured to the patient's face. This oxygen delivery device is used for patients who require supplemental oxygen and are breathing adequately. The nasal cannula can deliver oxygen concentration of 25 to 45 percent at 1 to 6 liters per minute. Flow rates of more than 6 liters per minute are irritating to the nasal passages. This method of oxygen delivery will provide little benefit to the patient who is breathing through his mouth and not his nose. The nasal cannula is also ineffective if the patient's nose is plugged with mucus or blood. Now we go to the blow by oxygen. Uh, some patients will not tolerate oxygen delivered by means of nasal cannula or a face mask. If you're faced with this situation, then consider blow by oxygen. When oxygen is delivered using this method, the device used to deliver the oxygen does not make actual contact with the patient. For example, oxygen tubing can be attached to a toy or inside a paper cup. Oxygen is then blown by the, when the toy or cup is held by the patient's face. Although this method is not ideal for oxygen delivery, it is better than breathing room air alone. Thus, we have concluded uh, chapter 13, which is respirations. Thank you very much. Um, please uh, take a chance and review some of the uh, airway sounds that I'm going to put up on this uh, in this section as well.